Hello, my name is Shulai Talai. I am an assistant professor in operations and supply chain management in Trinity Business School, Trinity College, Dublin. And I'm the associate director for Master of Science in Operations and Supply Chain in Trinity Business School. After COVID-19 crisis and the discovery of COVID-19 vaccines, the whole world faced an, an operations and supply chain management problem of massive scale, that is the distribution and supply chain management of COVID-19 vaccines. After being faced with uh, such a challenge, it is inevitable that operations and supply chain discipline will become even more prominent for all the organizations, companies and institutions in the world, and the experts uh, in this field will be highly sought out. Uh, our Master of Science in Operations and Supply Chain aims to equip uh, its graduates with the expertise, world-class level expertise in this field. And in this recording, I will describe the learning journey in our program. Uh, the leadership of the program is conducted by uh, Professor Yufei Huang, Course Director, and uh, me, Professor Shulai Talai, Course Associate Director. Uh, Trinity College Dublin, Trinity Business School, Trinity College Dublin is located in Dublin, Ireland, in uh, one of the most popular global business hubs in the world, attracting top talent from uh, many countries and different continents. This diversity is also reflected in our applicants' profiles and cohorts. For instance, our applications, uh, our uh, applicants come from more than 20 countries and more than 10 nationalities are represented in our student cohorts. Uh, when we look at the uh, structure of the learning journey in uh, Master of Science in Operations and Supply Chain, uh, it consists of three terms, where in the first two terms, students take uh, courses, modules, uh, to <clears throat> learn and master uh, the necessary skills and foundation in operations and supply chain. And in the third term, uh, they take on an independent research project supervised by an advisor, the dissertation. Uh, when we look at the modules in more detail, in Term 1, uh, the modules uh, aim to build foundation, framework, uh, and necessary theory <clears throat> and key definitions uh, so that the students uh, will be ready to take on uh, advanced uh, modules in Term 2, regardless of their previous background uh, before starting the program. In Operations Management and Global Supply Chain modules, um, the, the key terms, the structures, the foundation and the framework uh, is introduced to the students. In the introductory finance module, uh, students are presented by the basic and uh, fundamental skills in finance so that in term two, for instance, they'll be able to uh, look at techniques that are at the intersection of supply chain and finance fields, such as supply chain finance methods. Um, in business analytics and research methods um, modules, the students will uh, will uh, look at uh, data analytics tools so that uh, they could use these skills to address uh, specific operations and supply chain problems uh, that uh, will be covered in term two modules. And the project management module uh, covers the project management tools, which will be very useful when students are involved in company projects, either uh, for their dissertation uh, or uh, for their um, other modules or uh, for uh, further uh, steps in their career. After uh, term one, when all the students, uh, regardless of their background, are uh, presented with a solid and strong foundation, uh, more advanced topics and um, advanced modeling uh, techniques will be covered in Term 2 modules. For instance, Operations Analytics module will, um, will address the use of data analytics tools in operations management problems. So, um, for instance, both Operations man Management module and Business Analytics modules and Research Methods modules will be uh, useful and uh, will build the foundation for this module. In Decision and Risk Analysis, uh, again, the statistical tools and the uh, data analytics tools uh, will be used to address 
decision analysis and risk analysis problems and very standard and um, foundational fundamental techniques that are used in operations and supply chains, such as optimization, simulation, decision analysis, decision trees, uh, along with the very um, standardized software that has been used around the world uh, to address operations and supply chain management problems, such as uh, use of Excel Solver, Palisade Decision uh, Suite, and uh, similar tools. In supply chain science module, um, the the concepts that are introduced uh, and um, uh, addressed in operations management and global supply chain management uh, will be covered in uh, much greater depth uh, and. Uh, hot topics such as uh, supply chain resilience, supply chain finance, uh, blockchains, and other technology enhancing tools and their use in supply chain management will be addressed through state-of-the-art literature. Students will be able to um, learn a lot about uh, the current and contemporary topics and what uh, supply chain operations and supply chain uh, discipline uh, contributes to these very uh, important and prominent and contemporary problems uh, that are faced by all the companies and businesses in the world. Um, some uh, some uh, subfields of operations and supply chain management are uh, relevant to very strategic and key business functions, and uh, these these subfields will be covered uh, in much greater depth and focus in the modules that are dedicated to them. For instance, uh, at COVID-19 crisis, uh, because of the disruptions in supply chain networks around the world, procurement became a huge issue for many com uh, many companies, and uh, it affected the bottom line. Uh, as well as uh, many performance indicators for businesses. Um, issues regarding uh, this, this strategic and key business function will be covered in much greater depth and focus in the global procurement module. Um, also, in other very strategic uh, business, uh, business decisions uh, on new product development will be covered uh, in the module dedicated to uh, this very important topic. Um, through uh, sustainable supply chain practices, another field, business ethics, is uh, becoming more and more pronounced in operations and supply chain field. And um, this, this um, perspective in operations and supply chain will be covered in the business ethics module uh, dedicated to this uh, very important uh, field and topic. After finishing uh, the first uh, two terms, all the knowledge, all the techniques, skills, uh, approaches, ways of thinking uh, will be exercised in the independent research project that will be conducted in term three, um, the dissertation. So um, the students will be allocated an advisor and they will be able to address the research topic of their interest uh, through uh, an independent and uh, supervised research practice so that they could produce and contribute to uh, this this research problem and uh, provide a written report. Um, so all the modules are taught by uh, faculty who have uh, gained their educational background and expertise from highly ranked and highly respected institutions in the world. So the educational experience will be world class and international. Likewise, uh, guest speakers from academics and industry will be entertained through seminars and uh, also at the lectures so that the students will have uh, more exposure to uh, the international perspectives and uh, industry experience. Uh, through uh, through <clears throat> their interactions uh, with the speakers and uh, within the program. Uh, students uh, also uh, will be able to uh, combine their theoretical uh, knowledge that they are gaining and the tools that uh, they are gaining the mastery of and the skills uh, for with with the practice uh, since uh, in in Trinity Business School there is a tradition of collaboration with local companies, for instance, uh, in supply chain science module uh, it it could be uh, very well possible for the students to design uh, or or to create ideas on the design of supply chain network of a, a local company. Um, the uh, techniques and tools. Uh, in operations and supply chain uh, are, are uh, applicable to many different fields. 
So um, this creates a very rich prospect for the roles for our graduates and range of employers. Some sample industries include, uh, but um, are not limited to the, to the ones that are listed here, that include, they include uh, the traditional manufacturing context, as well as um, finance context, for instance, through supply chain finance and analytics, uh, through um, different uh, methods such as marketing operations, uh, students uh, could be seeking roles in the retail industry. Uh, they also um, could be uh, thinking, uh, could, could be seeking uh, different roles in the consulting business because they will be exposed to many different techniques that could be applied to very different um, operations and supply chain problems in different uh, industries. For instance, in uh, pharmaceutical industry, uh, the vaccines and the medications has to be uh, distributed uh, with respect to strict temperature requirements. This is a subfield of operations and supply chain called cold chain logistics. And um, the Master of Science in Operations and Supply Chain uh, will uh, help the students uh, gain the necessary skills to manage such networks. And uh, the versatility of the um, Optimization and other operations and supply chain methods also uh, will allow the students, for instance, uh, design appointment scheduling systems in healthcare or scheduling of surgery rooms. These are uh, well standardized uh, problems that have been addressed with uh, optimize, optimization skills. And uh, the food industry and food uh, distribution networks uh, are also um, <clears throat> a very important uh, examples of supply chains that could be uh, managed by the graduates of Master of Science in Operations and Supply Chain. Uh, when we look at the sample, ro sample rules, um, they are uh, they include and in, uh, not limited to operations analyst, supply chain analyst, a procurement expert, consultant, uh, product and project manager, and business and data analyst. Um, so. Uh, there is a very uh, rich uh, prospect, uh, there is a very rich uh, set of roles for graduates and um, range of employers for uh, the Master of Science in Operations and Supply Chain. When we look at the um, teaching and learning system, blended teaching and learning is used. Um, whenever allowed by public health guidelines, um, the lectures will be conducted face-to-face. -face. If this is not possible, they will be uh, conducted uh, online and live through our uh, virtual learning environment. Um, when uh, it is possible to conduct face-to-face -face lectures through public health guidelines, physical teaching in smaller groups as per social distancing uh, will take place. and. Uh, if this is not possible, uh, the, the lectures will be conducted uh, as online synchronous. And they will also be supported by a synchronous material that will be uh, posted in our um, virtual learning environment. Uh, so a flipped classroom model, um, the online delivery of course content by a Blackboard Collaborate uh, will be uh, executed. Uh, student engagement uh, is, is achieved through individual and group assignments. So um, students uh, will work both on individual assignments in some modules and group assignments in others, uh, where face-to-face uh, -face, uh, uh, group uh, studies, if, if possible, or working online so that uh, it, it will allow students to achieve greater autonomy and self-directed learning, as well as interactions uh, between each other to uh, enhance the student experience. Uh, independent exercise and reflective activity will also take uh, to test uh, the student understanding and um, different types of outputs such as research reports, presentations uh, will, will be um, produced by the students so that uh, they will be able to uh, demonstrate their learning in, in different uh, formats. So the key for success uh, is, is uh, depending on preparation, uh, for for the lectures, time management, uh, self-discipline, and uh, of course, first and foremost, keeping communication channels open to stay connected, be social, and engaged with peers. Uh, after this uh, learning journey, uh, or, or towards the end of our uh, this uh, this learning journey, our graduates uh, are, are finding very uh, well uh, desired jobs in uh, different companies all around the world. 
uh, Dublin is also a very um, rich and promising location in terms of uh, having a European headquarters of uh, different global companies uh, being located uh, in this city. It's a vibrant city and as can be seen from this picture, um, Trinity College Dublin and Trinity Business School is also physically very close to uh, the headquarters and offices of these uh, highly respected and regarded companies. Um, both the city and uh, the college provides an English-speaking environment with a high momentum of growth where our students will be able to meet lots of young people with high potential as themselves and they will be able to engage in both academic and social activities which are uh, fun to do uh, at, an, at a very impressive and um, you know, national campus which is also uh, located very close to uh, the industry. Um, you're welcome and uh, you're, you're actually invited uh, to follow us on social media and for any questions on applications and admission process, you're welcome to uh, contact our admissions manager, Charlie Cunningham. Uh, I wish all the applicants uh, the best of luck in their applications and uh, their education. Uh, we hope to see you. Thank you very much.